Yeah, man. Well, you ladies are right. To be honest with you, your lives look terrifying to me. They do, man. I know nothing about being a woman, but I know fear. Yo, I used to live in New York when I was 17, and I couldn't even pay my bills. You know what I did to make money? I used to do shows for drug dealers that wanted to clean their money up. And one time I did a real good set, and these motherfuckers called me in the back room. They gave me $25,000 in cash. I was probably 18 or 19 years old. I was scared. I thanked them profusely. I put that money in my backpack. I jumped on the subway and started heading towards Brooklyn at 1 o'clock in the morning. Never been that terrified in my life. Because I never in my life had something that somebody else would want. I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, if the motherfuckers knew how much money I had in this backpack, they'd kill me for it. Then I thought, holy shit. What if I had a pussy on me all the time? That's what women are dealing with. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> it's real talk. If them same drug dealers gave me a pussy, said, put this in your backpack and take it to Brooklyn, I'd be like, nigga, I can't accept this. <laughs> I empathize, man, you know. Everybody gets mad because I say these jokes. But you understand that this is the best time to say them. More now than ever. And I know there's some comedians in the back. Motherfucker, you have a responsibility to speak recklessly. Otherwise, my kids may never know what reckless talk sounds like. The joys of being wrong. I didn't come here to be right. Just came here to fuck around. <laughs>